There's nothing breakable in there. <laughs> Happy Tokyo treat! It's a, 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 it's a it's another month where it's a little bit late. So I was like, I was eagerly anticipating thinking, is it here yet? But it's here now, so that's all that matters. I want to open it. You know the drill by this point, it's slice. Usually slice badly, so let's go for another slice. Yep. Just to be sure. Get the one open slice one day. And then Four. the flip scissors fly Four, at five, six. There's two. Mm. There's what? There's two? There's two. Ooh, nice looking crisps, although they're made by Calvi, so that makes me a little bit apprehensive. It looks like wasabi! Don't inform me about change your box. Unfortunately, due to import regulations regarding products containing meat substances, <laughs> the Calvi potato pizza mayo mentaiko, mentaiko chips in your box had to be replaced with another delicious Japanese snack. We would have you were receiving another Calvi salt and wasabi chips. But we would have never known had they not said that. No. So what was the point? <laughs> or the Calvi lightly salted chips. Okay, I'm kind of glad I did not get the wasabi ones. The I mean, wasabi ones are the green looking ones. This is the uh, just plain salted Potato chips. The potato pizza mayo mentaiko chips. Yeah, I would have been really been intrigued to try that. Smell and look just like salted crisps, just which I'm kind of craving right now. Ready salted crisps. Mmm. Tastes a little bit different though to me. It's still salty. They, like are, just, salty. they are just ready salted crisps. But to me, it's like a different kind of salt. I don't know, like, I feel like they could have used soy sauce to salt it. I don't know, it sounds like it just tastes like normal crisp to me. Would I have preferred pizza crisps over this? Did you see the theme for this month? No. Tutti Frutti! Would I have preferred to try potato mayo crisps over salted crisps? Probably, but... Potato mayo? Yeah. Oh, was oh, it? potato oh. pizza mayo crisps. I like them, so I'm not going to complain. It'll be all boring. I'm hoping Tutti Frutti means some good flavours this month and yeah. not so much fish. These look nice. It's Chobo Chobo cookies, apparently. Chobo Chobo cookie. Apparently. Oh, oh yeah. It's also got some sort of stab wound on the stomach or something. This is belly button. Was it sutured? They smell like nothing. Faintly sweet. Apparently it's supposed to melt in your mouth, so maybe try leaving one in your mouth. Oh. I don't feel like it means literally, I mean it just means like the flavour. No. No. <laughs> they kind of taste like nothing. These little cookies are baked to perfection with a traditional recipe that melts in your mouth. They really don't taste of much at all. They're nice. They're very, very faintly it's a, it's a, Well, it's a traditional recipe apparently. Like a very... Lightly flavoured biscuit. Yeah, yeah, that's how I'd describe it. Yeah. Lightly sweet biscuit. Mm. I wouldn't go like crazy over them, but I like that it's a traditional snack but, or flavour that we've tried. It smells like marshmallows. <gasps> no, oh. they're not! They look like mochi! They are. Actual mochi, not weird pucks that you cover <laughs> with stuff. Mochi to Ichigo, strawberry mochi! Mm -hmm. So excited! That's right, yeah. I love mochi! This, ah! this chewy mochi has a sweet strawberry filling. These are a great snack when you're craving something fruit and sweet. Fruity and sweet. Oh, I'm so excited. One of my favorite, the, my favorite thing about mochis is the texture. Mm. There is just something, if you've never had a They're mochi, different, just yeah. take a minute to feel them. That sounds really weird, but like, <laughs> they're so soft. Just save they the are the feel. softest thing I have ever eaten in my life. And I said that when I first tried one. It's amazing. I, it's like, I, I, I have nothing I can compare this to, but it feels incredible. I, seriously, it's dusty and soft. It's soft, it's the softest thing I've ever eaten. And I'm really excited. They, they're gelat, it's like a, a, I was gonna say gelatinous, cause that does not make it sound appealing at all. There's the pink stuff. Yeah, it's, uh, I don't think I've actually got it yet, but I mean, I taste more milk than anything. I don't really taste the strawberry, but I'm just milk. really stoked to have got mochi. <laughs> really, I feel like I'm really powdery now. I like them. I mean, I, I skimmed yeah. the edge too. We ate like basically the half of the, half of the thing and still didn't get any of the strawberry in it. But it's nice. Yeah. It's 
what you'd ex- if you had a mochi, it's what you'd expect. I'm just excited that we're now getting mochis in these. Like this is that's a game changer for me. I love mochi. Well, these I've I know we've had these before because I recognise them. Caramel corn. Oh, caramel right. co- caramel corn. It's a, just a pack of crisps, but I think from memory they were sweet. I think they were just kind of a bit weird because they were. Maggot. We're not. I think. We're not used to, to sweet crisps no. in this country. I think that's maybe what it is. I still remember when we got the melon crisps. Ow. And for me, that was like, what? Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, they're strange. Yeah. It's sweet a... popcorn. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. Not, not a fan, but... I mean, I don't mind. I'm liking the theme that this is mainly sweet stuff you have sent me today. Dog, you're treating very happy. I'm glad I waited. I waited a long time. Ding dong. <laughs> Hi! Um, yeah, as I said before, I'm not like wild on these, but I can imagine a lot of people would be. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, ooh, noodle pack. Probably should stop shaking it. It's so one of these. See it. Yeah, dried noodles. These crispy flakes have a delicious curry flavour. Woo! They make a perfect topping for udon or your favourite Japanese noodle dish. I don't think you're really supposed to eat them like this. But no, I feel <laughs> like we have had them before because Probably. that description reminded me of like one that we had before. Probably. Oh. Instantly curry flavour. Nice though. Because Japanese have they have the they have a few fl- curry flavours, don't they? That's a good Japanese curry flavour. Right. Yeah. Like, not so spicy like. Not quite as spicy as a katsu curry sauce can be, but it's still, it's along those lines and non hand. So this is all over the table, you're doing it just so <laughs> high up. Do it lower, you fool. Uh, da, 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 da. Why are you moving? Because you're moving. <laughs> I can't really imagine sprinkling them on a wet soup, <clears throat> I'll be honest, or a wet like bowl of something, but yeah. I just think it would go soggy. Well, it might add a, it might, uh, uh, that is, that is, that is, that is, we'll dip a bit in water and see if it takes on water. Because they might be, they might you not. You want me to have curry flavoured water? <laughs> it might not take on water, so it might just add like a crunch to an otherwise quite soggy affair. It's gross. Just Does it sink it. or dip, float? Just dip it, don't drop it oh. in. Uh, I don't think it takes on water, I think it will just stay crunchy. It's like really weird when it's wet. <laughs> it's, it's just a bit like <clears throat> something that's wet that shouldn't be wet touching your tongue, it's a little bit lemon. <laughs> I don't like it wet, but that might be because I'm doing it in a glass of water, not like a sud, a, a noodle a soup, 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 a Sugar, oh, sugar rasuku. Yeah, exactly. This crispy corn snack is full of sugary, crunchy goodness. It will satisfy your crispy, crunchy cravings. Do you have crispy, crunchy cravings? I seem to remember I didn't really like this much. No. I feel like it was, it, well, maybe I did. No. I think the savory ones of these are better. The sweet ones are okay. Yeah. I haven't. It's so weird. Yeah, the savory ones are definitely better. It like smash it, it's buttery. Yeah. I said this says like butter toast. Oh, I recall that. I do recall that. And it does. Not wild. But sweet as well. Not wild, yes, but sweet. So butter toast with sugar. That's yeah. probably why it's weird. But sweet, buttery toast. Ugh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. I'll let you imagine Matt's face. <coughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <coughs> Trying to breathe water again. I'm alive. Mm. Not a fish, you idiot. You look like fingernails. Oh wait, no, we have these! Fingernails? <laughs> what? What do you... What do you mean? <laughs> when I first looked at them quickly, I thought... Square oh. fingernails, <laughs> yeah. I didn't see that they were square, and they looked like... <laughs> where, girls, when you go into a shop, you can get like the fake fingernail packet things that you can put on. Fake nails, look, not yes. fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> they are cherry mochi, apparently. These little cherry flavoured mochi squares are packed with fruity goodness. The fruity flavour and soft chewy texture makes them a delicious little snack. A stabbing oh, stick. Oh, I got a stabby stick! Yep, yeah, that's a fingernail. They seem hard. They're chewy. Nice though. 
Yeah. That does kind of taste like cherry. I don't mind cherry taste. I don't mind uh, cherry flavored things. So you get a lot of cherry flavored things here. I was kind of thinking it's, it's more of a sweeter cherry. No, I was going to say the only cherry thing I can think of is the ones, the actual cherries, which mm. I, I think they're cherry. They taste a little bit different to those. They, these taste sweeter. Uh, I did think that because they're so small, you weren't going to get a proper taste of them. Well, bear in but... mind though, those cherry things are in sour Haribos. Yeah, I'm not overly keen on those. I find them too sweet. I can sort of see where they're going with the mochi idea, but I don't think I don't. Oh, oh. Ooh, I like it when they send me these. So it's like those things where they sort of cover them out with like a chocolate or a yogurty kind of thing, but it's zaku zaku, uh, pinku pink. Pink <laughs> strawberry. It's where it, they have like these biscuity things that absorbs like this yogurt stuff. And it ends I up really being, like them when they do that. It ends up being a slightly moist biscuit. Moist. Once again, very uh, extensively packaged. Oh, there's writing inside. <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> they look like. You now how people dice Crouton. sausage. Mm. Yeah, you tend to like this. Oh, they're really quite tangy, actually. Tangy? Like, yeah, sharper at the end. They're saying it's a Ginza husk. Ginza. Uh, pink strawberry biscuits. Peach strawberry biscuits. Pink. Oh, pink. I like them. I, I feel like it's sweeter in the beginning and then it ends on like a sharp note. There's like a floral, a floral, what's the yeah. word? Floraliness? But there's definitely like a, a bouquet to it. I, Okay. I like them a lot. I really like them. They're very Moorish. I mean, I, again, I, I, if I had like the choice between a white chocolate ice cream, a chocolate ice cream, or a vanilla, uh, or a vanilla strawberry. strawberry one, I would go for one of the other ones, not the strawberry. The strawberry yeah. would always be my last choice, yeah. but I do still like them, so. Hmm. Oh, I hear powder, maybe sprinkles. Oh, it's not gonna be on those horrible foam ice cream things, is it? I think it is, yes. Oh. It's Ichigo flavor. They're, they're really loving their strawberry flavor. As usual, we have like the basically a powder, mix it with water, and then put it into a very stale cup. I recall it was just really sour, and just the, because it was a foam, it was just weird. Sour foam. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Powder. Uh, like pellets. Oh, they were, they were pellets, because that was like they could be a pack of pellets. sprinkles. Although it's not just. So it's mixed in, oh, I think the, uh, okay, the, the strawberry pellets are the. Don't eat it on its own, weirdo. <laughs> of just the um, I was strawberry flavour. Try to do that covertly. I, I wonder if I could do this. Uh, did, did it say how much to do? Yeah. No, just. Probably. It's probably in Japanese. Pour tea, two teaspoons. This terrible oh God. foamy oh gosh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually flicking it everywhere again. No. Oh, I have to show the people the my phone. Oh, foam again. Well, do we not like this? No. It's just it's really sour thing. because it's just weird. It's like. It's just. Look, it's soap. getting bigger. I get that they, they get the idea of like how an ice cream looks almost from a DIY kit, but. The taste is. I think no the net. pleasure and the novelty is in the actual making of it. Yeah, I think yeah. me and Matt are maybe too old to enjoy this. Yeah, we're just completely. like cold, dead hearts. English people. <laughs> That's what the Brits get when you have like DIY candy kids. <laughs> I'm just fed up with this race. Oh, just stop. Yeah. And you got now to put the whole thing like in, in one go now. What? Just oh. <laughs> yeah, but this is the. Oh, there's three, so there's one for each of us. There we go. Uh, Ice cream. Uh, it doesn't wobble like that typically. Ow. Now the whole thing in. Oh my god. It's so sour again. Sour. Yes. Ow. <laughs> 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 is it sour? Uh, a little bit. Is it, no, stale, I think. Oh yes. I'm a sour enough rat for you. That might taste the stale thing. Do you? Yeah. I often get like, pulled up on the street and you Are you chasing like Statham? <laughs> this one's yours, Matt. That's enough! <laughs> Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you wiping? It's melting, look! Why are you the it's a melted side? ice cream! Don't be cretin. It's, oh, it's, it's actually dropping. So trying you to make me it. eat more of it. Stop turning it! It's not as awful as I remember. If you just eat the foam. <laughs> if you just lick the foam. Yeah, see what you think about the You can make a nice big dose of that, haven't you? Oh, yeah, she was that. very generous <laughs> with both of ours. Go for it. 
Oh, we're not actually. No. It's How do you find the staleness? Like, um, is it a good level of stale? Dad, here you go. Stale? <laughs> good level of stale. Oh, you still have to be already. <laughs> don't worry, the, the, the stale cones, we only got three of, so you don't get that. You just get the fizzy, strawberry flavoured foam. <laughs> Family <laughs> Tokyo treat! Wow. <laughs> Uh, now you're out. Well, that ain't. Mm, yuck. It's all gone! No waste in this house, yeah. Unfortunately. I don't like that. I would say that was a pretty decent Tokyo drink, actually. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. Like, this I loved. I love that I got my cheese. I am. It sounds like it's a cheese. Please, please, Tokyo drink. Go, keep going along that path. Keep sending out my cheese because I adore my cheese. Anyway, guys. That was May's Tokyo Treat. The next one will be the last one before I'm married. I, I said that the other day. Yeah. It was mad. If we get it on time. Yeah, that's if we get it on time. Mm -hmm. If they don't send it early June, I'm gonna kind of be in a little bit of a pickle because June is very busy for me. <laughs> I've got my birthday and then wedding. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed. Do let me know what you get in your box, if you have a box. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.